Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Portal Gun mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 and this is a really cool mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. The Portal Gun mod is similar to the Portal game that was developed by Valve who also made Half-Life and for any of you guys who have ever played the portal game will know what this mod is all about because as you guys can see it does have this cool looking portal gun and we can create portals where we can actually enter from one side of the portal and then come out the other side so as you guys can see i do have a portal there which is a blue color and then we also have another portal there which is orange color and if i was to enter this blue portal here I'll come out the orange side. As you guys can see, I've actually placed these portals directly in front of each other and I can actually see the back of my character because I am actually coming out of a loop. I'm actually going in this blue portal and then coming out the orange one there. And it's really cool because I can actually create portals anywhere I want to. I can make one here and if I was to enter this, I'll come out of the orange one over here as you can see. And then if I go back to this tree, I've got the portal there, which I just created earlier. And this portal gun mod is really easy to use. I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the portal gun mod for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to set everything up and actually use this mod because it's really simple to actually set up and use. There are a few other mods which you do have to install to get this up and running. And I will show you guys how to do that later on. So to actually use this mod is quite simple. You just have to aim at a block and it's always going to create a two block portal so if i was to aim at this block it's going to create the portal using this block and the block below it so if you do want to create a portal always aim at the top block and make sure there is enough space at the bottom block as well if i was to aim at that bottom block there it would not be able to create anything as you guys can see it's not actually creating anything but if i was to aim at this block over here it will create the portal it's that simple and to create that portal all i did was to actually press the left mouse button on my mouse and to create the exit portal i'm going to select another block here and i'm going to press the right mouse button so you just have to use the left mouse button to create one and you have to press the right mouse button for the exit portal so i can actually go into this one and come out the other side we can also make the portals on the ground so we can make them vertical and horizontal as well so as you guys can see i've actually got one here on the ground and i've got the exit point over here so i can actually go into this one i can jump there and i can come out the other side here it's really cool you guys can play around and choose whatever you want to do with this portal i can also throw items through the portal and they should come out the other side so if i chuck that over there you can see that it's come out the other side there so as you guys can see, I'm just chucking stuff into that one and it's coming out the other side. I'm going to chuck this uh, crimson plank through there as well. And you can see it's just popped out the other side there as well. So it's that simple. If you guys are playing on the survival mode, then you would have to craft this. I would highly recommend that you do install a mod which is called Roughly Enough Items. So let me show you guys what that mod is all about. So I'm going to press E. It's going to bring up this screen. And on the right hand side, you can see I've got different blocks here that I can select. And if I was to scroll all the way to the last page, there are a few items here which are new. And you can see when I hover over this, it does say it's the dual portal device and I can create it. If you guys do want to try out the portal gun, what I do recommend is that you install the roughly enough items mod as well alongside the portal gun mod. And then click on this config screen button here, enable the cheats, save and quit, and then we can just drag the portal gun mod into our inventory and we can try it out if we disable the cheats we can actually have a look at how to create it so if i click on the portal gun mod here it's showing me that to create the portal gun i need two items so i need the portal device claw and i need the portal device body and if i click on the portal device claw we can see that we need these items so i do need stones diamonds and a block of quartz and if i just go back into the other page i can click on the other item which i required which is the portal device body and you can see i need glass block of quartz redstone dust and nether star as well and the stone to create that and once i have those two items i can then create the portal gun device so it is quite useful to actually have the 
roughly enough items mod i would highly recommend that you guys do install that as well and i will show you guys how to install that today alongside the portal gun mod as well these are fabric based mods so they won't work on forwards you do need to install fabric so i'll show you guys how to install everything today and try out the cool portal mod as well i'll show you guys how to install the roughly enough items mod and fabric and the cool portal gun mod as well and then you guys can actually try this out and have fun with this cool mod which i think is really fun we can actually go into survival mode create this and have a lot of fun with this mod and I would highly recommend that you guys do give it a go. And whoever designed this did such a nice job of this. It's really good. This mod is actually based on another mod, which is the Immersive Portals mod. But you don't have to install that. It is included in this mod. So once you install it, it will actually include that as well. So as you guys can see, I've got the fabric loader installed for my mods. I've got other dependencies installed as well. I do have the roughly enough items. I've got the portal gun there. I've got mod menu and I've got the other dependencies as well, which we can also download. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the portal gun mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 and how to get roughly enough items as well for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. And then you guys should be able to have fun with the portal gun mod for minecraft java edition all right so the first thing we need to make sure is that we do have the latest version of java installed because we do need that to open up the fabric installer you don't actually need to use the fabric java installer we can use a windows based installer because the fabric creators have given us that option thankfully but for those of you who are not comfortable with using a windows based installer or you're not using a windows based machine then you would have to use the java installer and i'll show you guys how to do that so just open up your internet browser and just start typing in java jdk 16 and then download the java jdk file so as you guys can see this is the oracle.com link and i'm going to leave a link in the description for all of the downloads i've shown you guys today and i'm going to scroll down here and i'm going to download the windows x64 installer because i am using a windows based machine i'm going to click on this tick box and start the download and let's wait for that to finish the actual download all right so as you guys can see it has finished downloading the java jdk file so i can close down this tab and I, now i can actually go ahead and download fabric for minecraft java edition 1.17.1 i'm going to start typing in minecraft fabric so let's go ahead and do that in the search bar and let's wait for the results to turn up and the link we need to go to is the fabricmc.net link so let's click on that and to download fabric you do actually have to click on the use link here on the top here of the website and then now we've got two options we can either download the installer which is the universal jar file or we can download the windows based installer so let's go ahead and start downloading the universal jar file to begin with i'm also going to download the windows based installer as well when you look at the bottom here it does say most mods will require you to install fabric api into the mods folder so let's go ahead and download this additional file which is required to load additional mods into the game so i've clicked on that link and it should take you to the curseforge.com website and then i can just click on download and it should start the actual download for the latest version of fabric api all right so as you guys can see it has finished the download for fabric api for version 1.17.1 and what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description for all of the other downloads as well. There are quite a few mods which we do have to download and it would take me a long time to show you guys how to download each of them. So I'm just going to leave the link in the description. There are a few of them which are optional. So stuff like the roughly enough items mod, stuff like mod menu, which are completely optional. The main mod you would have to get is the portal gun mod, but the other stuff is optional if you guys don't want it. You don't have to download it but i am going to include it in the description so i would highly recommend that you guys do download all of the other mods as well because it would make your experience with the portal gun mod much more enjoyable all right so i have placed all of the files on my desktop and i'm going to install the java jdk file first of all to make sure that i have got the latest release of java on my system so i'm going to double click on this file and start the actual installation process as you guys can see it does say the software has already been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to select yes and i'm going to quickly just click on next and select all the default options and make sure that the installation is done it is quite a quick installation so it shouldn't take too long and as you guys can see it now says java has been successfully installed so let's click on close 
and then let's move this out of the way we can now install the fabric file and i've got two installers here so for the jar file i can now right click on this select open with and then select java platform se binary because i have installed java so it is going to be that option if i click on the java platform se binary link here it will open up the installer so as you guys can see it does say fabric installer and i'm going to select the latest version which is 1.17.1 it's got the latest loader version selected there select install location it's got the default location there i'm going to make sure the create profile box is ticked here and i'm going to click on install so as you guys can see it's a quick installation it says successfully installed i can click on ok and i can close this down if i do double click on the fabric installer for windows it will be the same option so as you guys can see it is going to load up the same installer and it's got the same options there and you can just click on install so if you guys are having problems with this jar file then definitely go for the windows based installer if you are on a windows based machine it will make your lives much easier let's move these files out of the way and now we can go ahead and install the fabric api mod so open up your minecraft launcher to begin with you will notice that it does say on the bottom left there it will say fabric loader 1.17.1 so you can see in the drop down i've got latest release and i've got fabric loader here showing and it will also show me the fabric loader setup here as well which i just installed and if i was to click on play it would load up the game with fabric loader and now what we need to do is just hover over any of these two links click on the folder icon here and close down the launcher and we will now be in the minecraft main directory and what we now need to do is open up the mods folder here so some of you might not have this mods folder if you guys don't have a mods folder you can just right click anywhere on an empty space select new select folder and then just rename that to mods some of you may not have this if you've never installed fabric or forge but if you do just leave it as it is now let's go inside the mods folder and as you guys can see currently my mods folder is completely empty and what i'm going to do now i'm going to place the fabric api file inside the mods folder so as you guys can see the fabric api file is now inside the mods folder and i'm also going to now place the other mods which i mentioned earlier which are the optional mods as well as the portal gun mods. So as you guys can see, I've got a list of mods here. I've got six items here, and the portal gun mod is the main file that you need to actually place into the mods folder. And then all of these other files and their dependencies are completely optional. But I do highly recommend that you do actually download and install these because it will make your experience much more enjoyable. So I'm also going to highlight all of these mod files and place them inside the mods folder. You will notice that all of the mods are jar files. So your mods directory, if you are installing all of the files, should look something like this. You should have a total of seven items, as you guys can see. It should look something like how it does on my screen here. So we've got the fabric API file, we've got the portal gun file here. We've got mod menu, which will create a button that says mods. And when you click into it, you can see all of your installed mods in fabric. And then I've got these two dependency files here. And I've got another dependency file here, and I've got the roughly enough items file as well. So I'm going to obviously leave a link in the description for all of those other mods as well. And it's up to you guys which one you want to download and install. So let's launch the Minecraft launcher again. And let's go into the Fabric Loader. Now we do have two options. You can either make sure that Fabric Loader is selected in the drop down here and then click on play. Or you can actually go into the installation section here highlight fabric loader 1.17.1 and then click on play here so let's go ahead and click on play and let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see it has loaded up the game let's maximize that and now i do have a mods button here this is thanks to the mods menu mod which we installed earlier again if you don't install that optional mod you won't see this mods button and i can click on this mods button here and i can see all of the dependencies if i click on the filter button here it does say library so for some of you it might actually be hidden so just make sure it says shown and then i can now see all of the installed mods on my system and as you guys can see i've got the portal gun mod here i've got roughly enough items and we can actually go into this section and configure the mods as well you guys can actually see we've got a configure button here so when i click on a mod i've got a configure button here i can click on that and i can actually go into the main options for that mod which is really cool so i can actually go into the portal gun and click on the configure button here and it says enable around portals and it's selected yes so let's leave that as it is i'm going to click on done i can now go into a single player world i'm going to create a creative world and i do recommend that you guys do this if you guys do want to test out the portal gun mod to begin with 
because we do need to make sure that cheats are on. You can also go into survival if you wanted to do that and then just select allow cheats. So if you guys do want to play survival, just make sure that cheats are enabled. So let's go ahead and create a new survival world with cheats and then I'll show you guys how to load the portal gun mod into the game. Alright, so as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into a survival based world and I can now press E on my keyboard and as you guys can see, we've got roughly enough items selected here on the right of the side. I can now scroll to the right of the last page and I've got the portal gun mod showing. If I click on this cogwheel here, I'm going to enable cheats and I'm going to save and quit and then now I can just drag this file into my inventory so as you guys can see it's now selected and it's now given me the portal gun mod which is really cool if you guys don't want to do this you want to craft it yourself then obviously you can just disable the cheats and you can click on the portal gun mod and it will show you how to create it and then you can also click on these other items and then see how to create those as well so if you guys are playing properly and you guys want to create it yourself you guys can go ahead and do that if you guys did want to create the portal gun yourself now let's make a portal over here on this tree so we, as you guys can see i've got a portal now if we do create just the one portal i can actually go inside it and i will come out the other side so you guys can see that it is sort of like a mirror i am seeing my own reflection another thing to note is that the portal gun is actually facing forward in first person view but in third person view it is actually pointed downwards so if i was to actually go into third person view you guys can see it's pointed downwards but when i go into first person view it is pointed straight so that is one thing to note if you guys are making any third person recordings to upload okay now let's go ahead and create another portal so let's go over here and create another portal let's see what it looks like when we create a portal far away from the first one so i'm going to select this top block here because i do want the portal to appear on these two blocks and i'm going to press the right mouse button this time so as you guys can see i've now created this portal let's go back and let's see if we actually end up through that portal and it's quite cool because we can actually use this for our advantage in survival mode so as you guys can see i can actually see myself through the portal so you guys can see that i'm actually able to see myself running about there in through the portal because the other one is actually over there and it's able to see what's happening around in this area because it is facing in this direction so i'm actually able to see the side view of myself so i'm just going to quickly run through that portal i'm going to end up here so as you guys can see i went through there and i ended up here so you can actually go ahead and create these cool looking portals similar to the portal game which was created by Valve and I really do like the graphics of the gun as well. I think they've done such a nice job replicating the portal gun. It looks really cool and I highly do recommend that you guys try out this mod. It's really fun to play with and there's so much stuff we can do with this. If you guys have found this video useful, please do give us a like. And if you guys have any comments or queries about installing this mod or any of the other optional mods I have shown you guys today, then definitely do leave them in the comment section below. If you guys do have any issues loading up Fabric or actually any of the mods, then do leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Obviously, do subscribe to this channel to help support, to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.